Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. It's Dare playing Elden Ring and I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the Aird Tree stuff. So you can see everything I'm wearing here, plus quite a few other weapons, some incantations, a whole bunch of stuff. Basically everything it takes to be an Aird Tree, Tree Sentinel type person. So I'm just going to be showing you all of these items and where to get them. So let's just dive on in and we'll start off right away with the biggest part, the Tree Sentinel set. So you can see that I'm wearing them here. It's the Tree Sentinel Helm, the Tree Sentinel Armor, the Tree Sentinel Gauntlets, and the Tree Sentinel Greave. Altogether, they make not only one of the best looking sets of armor in the game, but also best stat wise. And considering that they're not incredibly heavy, they're some of the best protection you can get. Uh, so I know a lot of people are big fans of the Tree Sentinel Armor. All right, so if you want to get this set, you're going to have to make your way up to the Altus Plateau region and up and around the capital. And instead of going in through the main gate of the capital, you're going to follow this road down out to the bottom until you get to the Ariza Heroes Grave. And then there are a number of steps uh, to get to where you have to go because you're solving a chariot puzzle to do this and I showed it in detail in my uh, I believe it was my top five suits of armor for knights video I showed in detail but here I'll just kind of zip through and show you uh, kind of the process even though in this playthrough I've already done the puzzle so I've already destroyed the chariot so I'll just zip through and show you how to do it now. All right, and so once you've gotten up to this point, uh, mind you, there will be chariots all the way, so you, you've noticed probably that there haven't been any chariots in this place. That's because, like I said, I already solved the puzzle. So there will be a chariot here, so when you come out of this ramp, you wait until it goes down, then you run up, and you get into here. Then when you get into here, you'll see this flame pillar in here, which you're going to need to hit and send up, and you're going to want to get out of the way, because as soon as it gets up, it's going to start spouting flame again. But that's all you have to do to solve the puzzle the puzzle is you have to get the, that that flame pillar up and once it's up you just have to make your way back to the main hall and uh you'll be able to watch the chariots get destroyed so i'll show you where the main hall is that i'm talking about so it's this big room here and all you have to do is come into here and i just like to stand right down in here where you're safe from the chariots rolling by and another chariot will spawn in at that ring and all three chariots will crash into each other and be destroyed and then all of the pieces of this armor set will be put into your inventory so that's how you get the armor next up i'll show you how to get the tree spear so you can see i've got it here got uh attributes of faith of 18 dexterity of 22 and strength of 15 to use it it's a pretty dang good weapon one of my favorite great spears in the game and of of course it fits with this theme very well so i'm going to show you where to grab this one because it's pretty easy to get you're going to want to make your way over to the leonia region and uh the qu the closest side of grace is going to be the leonia highway south and we're just going to be going down to the end of this road so we're just going to follow the road straight there so as you may be able to tell there's a troll here that you could either just run around or take out it's going to be up to you but uh you know, it's just a troll, so nothing too complicated there. But once you've defeated the troll, you go to this little caravan that's sitting right here, and you hop up, and it'll be inside this chest, which you can see I've already opened and looted. So I'll just show you on the map. We're right here. Take that marker off. That one is super easy to get, so that's how you get the tree spear. Next up, we have the Aired Tree Great Shield, which is one of the best great shields in the game, and has the Golden Retaliation special attack on it, which a lot of people really, really like. Pretty dang good shield, honestly. Uh, guard boost of 66 there, as you can see. Honestly, like I said, an excellent shield, and obviously one that goes really, really well with this theme. And so as far as getting this one, it's going to be the reward for a boss fight. So you have to make your way up here in the Altus Plateau to this gate area that leads into the capital. The closest sites of Grace being the Perfumer's Grotto and the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. Once you've made your way up to the top of this gate on this side, you will have to fight the uh, Tree Sentinel duo, which uh, honestly can be a difficult fight. It's, it's okay as long as you don't let them get you pounded down, but they're very mobile. They can jump and they have really long reach because they're both using Halberd type weapons. So uh, it can be pretty tricky to fight them if you're not ready for it. I usually hit them with really powerful uh, ranged attacks when I'm doing it or just stay mounted on uh, torrent, you know, duck around and get my hits in when I can. But once you defeat them, they will drop the shield. So that is how you get the air tree great shield. But what if great shields and great spears aren't for you? Maybe you're a halberd type of person. Well, good news, the golden halberd, one of the best halberds in the game, fits the air tree theme rather well. So you can see here, we've got attributes required of 30 for strength, 12 for faith, and 14 for dexterity. So pretty standard for air trees type, uh, type stuff. And these ones have the golden vow, vow special attack 
attack, which is actually one that, or I shouldn't say attack, but special ability, weapon art, as as it were. The Golden Vow one, which is nice because it gives you that attack boost and defense boost when you use it. So it's a, a more useful ability out of the non-physical attack types. And it's just a great weapon because the Halberds in general are excellent weapons. And of course, if you can power stance them, oh boy, do you have a powerful combo. Uh, another great thing about this Halberd is you can get it right away at the, early, uh, at the beginning of the game. So you can say we're here in Limgrave. Here's the first step. Here's the Church of Ela. Right next to here, you'll find a Tree Sentinel Prowling, and it'll be one of the first bosses that you probably encounter in the game, other than the Grafted Scion. And uh, all you got to do is kill him, and you get the Golden Halberd. So you can get it once per playthrough. Uh, so if you get do New Game Plus, you can grab a pair of these, or you could just uh, have someone drop you one. But that is the Golden Halberd, the second weapon of our er uh, of our Erd Tree weapons. But what if you're saying to yourself, man, I don't like... Uh, great spears and I don't like halberds well good news there is an aired tree themed dagger that is actually a pretty dang good weapon so we have the aired steel dagger I've got both of these upgraded with uh, sacred blade to give them uh, quite a bit more holy power and just make them fit the theme a little bit better these daggers are pretty dang good honestly as far as daggers go they're not terrible uh, obviously you can upgrade them with all sorts of different ashes of ore you can do whatever you want uh, but they're pretty dang good weapons and you can get them early in the game so you see this guy babbling over here here we are on the map we're in Limgrave and we're on this little little broken down piece of tower that I must imagine was blown off the walls of the capital or something that is kind of stretching over this this bridge here and if you come here anywhere near the beginning of the game this guy's gonna be standing here asking for help and if you talk to him and accept his uh request to help him he's gonna send you down here to Fort Height to clear it out and kill the boss that's inside there and uh, once you've done that you go back to him and tell him that you've done it and he will give you this dagger so again you can do this once per playthrough if you want to have a sweet dual wielded set of uh, aired steel daggers for the excellent dual dagger move set that I love so very much or of course like I said you can always get one to drop uh, get someone to drop you one but that is how you get the aired steel dagger but okay we've looked at halberds and spears and daggers but what about a colossal weapon because everyone loves our colossal weapons and they did recently just get buffed so you know what that's fine because obviously the air tree sentinel uses a colossal weapon as well right here we have the staff of the avatar you can see just a big old club pretty dang good weapon as far as uh attack power goes and we cannot upgrade it using ashes of war but it does have the air tree slam special attack which is pretty fun just a big old blast of holy damage that I like so very much. It's fun to leapfrog around at your enemies. Uh, so as far as how to get this weapon goes, this one is going to be another one that's a boss drop. So you're going to need to make your way down to Deep Root Depths. And to get uh, to the Great Waterfall Crest side of Brace, which is where you need to be to get this, you have to make your way all the way through the Siafa River to the Great Waterfall Basin, defeat the boss there, and then ride the abandoned coffin over to here. And to get into Siafa River, you need to have defeated Star Scourge Radon, and had the uh, meteorite bust a hole in the ground over here to get down into the Siafa River area. It's a couple steps to get this one, but once you get here to this uh, site of grace, all you gotta do is run around this corner here, and you're gonna run into the Air Tree Avatar who will drop this weapon. That uh, Avatar will be standing eh, right about here. And once you've killed the Avatar, you will have the Staff of the Avatar, so that's how you get this weapon. So uh, that is how you get the Staff of the Avatar. Yeah, but what about if you don't want to use any melee weapon at all? Well, we do have a specific bow that works for this one, the Air Tree Bow. A uh, pretty dang good weapon. It ranks among the best as far as the standard bows go. It can't be upgraded using Ashes of War, but it has the Mighty Shot special attack. Eh, a lot of people's favorite one to start with anyway. So uh, as far as the Air Tree Bow goes, this one's another one that's not too complicated to get once you've gotten to the area. So this one is going to be up in the Altus Plateau again here in the Royal Capital, and you're going to make your way up to the Air Tree Sanctuary by climbing up the Air Tree Roots. And once you're up here, it's actually pretty easy to get. So you just run out onto this porch, climb up this route, Go out through this doorway, take a hard left, run up the roof and jump through the window, and then it'll be right over here in this chest. So you can see I've already opened it, but it'll be sitting in this chest. So that is how you get the Air Tree Bow. But if you're going to pair, if you're going to be doing a Air Tree Sentinel kind of Holy Warrior type of thing, you're going to want the right arrows to pair with this. And so there's, those arrows are going to be the Golden Arrows. And there's a couple ways to get these. You can find them on some people, but the most consistent way is just to buy them. And so if you want to buy these, you don't have to go very far from where you were. It's going to be right here in the Royal, royal Capital over here at the Hermit Merchant's Shack. So you just got to come here and talk to the merchant who will be sitting right by this little fire. And from here, 
him, you will be able to buy the golden arrows. So you can see that they're uh, not ridiculously expensive as far as ammunition goes, but of course, it would be better to craft them. All right, and that's all good and well, but not everybody wants to be a light archer, and so you're probably going to also want to have access to a great bow. And so enters the Aired Tree Great Bow, which you can see we've got here. This one having considerably more attack power, but about the same range as the regular Aired Tree Bow. And instead of the uh, Mighty Shot, we have the Through and Through, which is basically just an upgraded version of the Mighty Shot. And now I've already showed you where to get the Golden Great Arrow because you get it from the exact same place that you got the Golden Arrow, the Merchant Shack over in uh, the Royal Capital. Uh, you can purchase them from him. But as far as getting the Aired Tree Great Bow, this is going to be another one that we have to solve a chariot puzzle for. And so if you watch my uh, best great bows video, I showed it in detail, but I'll show it again here. So I'm just going to zip through and show you the path on how to get to the place where you can get this weapon. And for a fun fact, before we go all the way to the uh, rest of the place where you can go get the bow, this right here is where you stop to get the Aired Tree uh, Favor Talisman. You'll find it over here on this altar, or right next to the altar. So, just a little fun fact that I figured while I was here, since we're doing an Aired Tree video, it would make sense to uh, show you the Aired Tree's favor. But once you get to this room here, you're just going to drop off this blind ledge onto another ledge. And then you drop down once again to the floor. Once you've ridden the elevator up, you're almost there. There'll be a phantom enemy out here that you're going to want to take out. There we go. Now we took him out. So it's better to be able to kill him with a melee weapon. But anyway, once you've gotten up here, this is where you can solve the puzzle. So there will be a chariot racing around down there that you'll have to try taking out. And you have to wait until it's about to land, or until it gets up here. You'll hear it contact the wall. And then you have to shoot these one of these pots uh, to knock it down. And obviously, it's best to do this not with a great bow. It's best if you have like a... Uh, a uh, crossbow or something, but you drop the pot, boom, and it blows up on the chariot, destroying the chariot, and you get this bow. So that's how you get it. I don't think I showed you at the beginning here. We're right here at the first step, so here in Limgrave. Uh, there will be a fog wall that you have to use two stone sword keys to unlock, but then you'll be able to do everything I just showed you and get both the Air Tree's favor and the Air Tree Great Bow. Yeah, but maybe melee weapons and archery aren't for you. Well, good news, there's an Air Tree seal that is one of the best in the game, and if you like doing incantations, you can't really beat it. So you can see, uh, uh, attributes required is just pure faith of 40 for this one nothing else and it scales at an s rating for faith so pretty dang good and uh this one is just going to be your bread and butter best pure faith seal in the game so as far as how and where to get this one you're going to have to make your way over to the volcano manor region in the altus plateau the mount galmir subregion of it that is and the closest site of grace is the prison town church site of grace once you've made your way here it's actually a pretty short process there's going to be enemies jumping around but you don't really need to interact with them because you can just jump down here off this roof Drop down to this little area here. There'll be an omen killer down here that you'll have to fight and kill, but, uh, you know, that is what it is. Actually, you can see him right over there. But anyway, once you've gotten down here, just by hopping down this roof, you go into this little jail cell here, and there will be this corpse leaning against the back here that will have the Aired Tree seal on it. And so again, you can do that once per playthrough, and you can get a pair of these bad boys, which is pretty fun for casting incantations. So again, here we are on the map. There was the Prison Town Church. There we are. Pretty simple and straightforward process, I think you'll agree, but that's how you get the air tree seal. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.